say I wanted to do a fall decorative haul, but when you're on a budget, because I know that decorations can be so expensive, especially when you want to get really nice decorations and stuff that doesn't look tacky, you can run your bill up pretty high. Trust me, I learned that real fast last winter when I went to Marshalls and I spent literally over a hundred dollars on like four decorations So I wanted to show you the fall decor that I had gotten and I thought that this would be a really good thing that I can show you guys This is decorative stuff that I do actually keep in my home that I'll kind of show you where it is around my apartment You know later on in the video but all of these things I got from the dollar store. I think only one item is not from the dollar store. These are things that are very affordable and they're big enough pieces and small enough pieces that you can lay them around your house in a very, in a tasteful style that I think you guys would really enjoy. For my own preference, I prefer when it comes to fall stuff, more autumn-like stuff and not so much scary Halloween. I think I have one item here that would kind of fit a more Halloween type look. And even then, it's not even really scary, but it's probably the only thing that I'm going to show you in this whole haul that would fit more into that theme. So if this is your type of style and you're looking for fall decorations on a budget, then keep on watching. Okay, so for the first item, I might as well start with the item that is not from the Dollar Store. I am in Canada, so we have the Dollarama and Dollar Tree. I think in the States, it's called Dollar General or something like that. I'm not too sure if all these exact pieces are there, but if you are in Canada or you have a Dollarama, all this stuff should be there. But I'm gonna start with the first thing that came from Marshalls, I believe it is. The first thing that is from Marshalls, I actually got this as a gift, but I know that this came from Marshalls, so I'm still gonna show it. This is a mold cider and cinnamon candle, and it smells absolutely delicious. And because it's got that chromatic rose gold decorative outside so it looks like fall as well and I feel like this makes such a pretty decorative piece and I actually keep this on my windowsill. This is a little more expensive. This isn't really the cheapest candle. This is actually like $11 for this little thing. Okay now that that one is out of the way and the first things I want to show you are so 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 cute. I have these pumpkins. So these are chromatic pumpkins. I have a white one and I have a orange one. I keep these ones out all the way until my spring decorations come out because I think these are really cute for winter as well. But then I got these orange ones to go with them. So I have two of each, two copper and two of the white chrome, and they're so cute. I am actually surprised that these came from the Dollarama. They're good quality, like they don't break, their they actually have a little bit of weight to them. And do these not look more expensive? To me, these look, like look at these, especially the white one. The white one mostly, I find. This does not look like something you would find at the Dollarama. Like I actually thought this was a steal because this was only, I think this was $4, but like, this is something you'd see at Marshall. It's so bougie and extra, and I'm just, I'm in love with these. These are my favorite things, I think, out of this whole haul. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is actually the piece that could be a little more Halloween-y, and it's this bone dog. So, I think this thing is so cute. His mouth opens and closes. He's all, all ribs, has a cute little tail. Look at that. I just think this guy is so cute. I actually used him as a prop for one of my Halloween photos last year as I was a skeleton, and I just think I don't know, I think he's so adorable. He's actually pretty fair sized as well. This was also $4. You could get an owl, you could get a bird, you can get a fish. I don't know, this one I thought was cute because it's a dog. All the other ones are basically the same thing but smaller. I think the dog is the biggest one. I don't know if they're all $4, but I think this guy is just so cute. I named him Bones. The next two things that I got are also $4. I got two different ones, but they're both like the same style of thing. The first one I'll show you, it's these little baskets that have this cloth around it, and it looks like straw or hay is tying it in the middle with bow. It's got this really pretty pumpkin in it. It's got all of these fall leaves, which look literally exactly like the leaves that fall here in Canada. It's got these other little fun pieces in here and like an acorn or a pine cone, sorry. More of this straw and hay. 
and I just think this is such a cute piece. And then I got a second one, which also has the same type of basket with the string around it, but this one's got a little dead pompous. It's got some flowers and pine cone. It's got this sunflower. And I actually keep these on my windowsill as well, spaced a little out, but I think these are so cute and just scream fall. This is literally fall in a basket. These pieces don't look like stuff that come from the dollar store. Like I am actually surprised when I found these at the Dollar Ring. I was literally shook by these. They were both $4 and they do so much to a room and they're actually pretty big if you guys can tell by me holding them in my hand here. They're, they're quite large sizes so they do take up some space. So if you're trying to fill something up, I think these are really cute to do that. The next piece I'm going to talk about is something that I actually want to get more of. I only have one bit of it right now and I actually leave it in with my TV on my TV stand. And it's this fall colored leaf. What is this called? It's long string thing. This was also $4. It's a fair size and it goes the whole length of my Vesta Ikea TV stand. So I actually interweight these with my fall decorations that sit on there along with my TV. This is probably the only time I will add color to my apartment is when it's fall because I love the colors of fall but I do try to aim to get the colorful decorations over the white, more aesthetic, I guess you could say decorations. This is the time for me to add a pop of color in my place is autumn. The next two things that I got, I don't really remember how much these were. They were probably two or four dollars, but they're these little wooden pumpkins that have these, oh, it says on them still. They were a dollar fifty. So these cute little wooden pumpkins, this one says autumn's blessings and this one says give thanks. I think these are so, 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 so cute. They add a pop of color and I feel like they're just such a simple space filler. If you don't have room for a big decoration or you know that you just want to throw something in there that's festive, these are super easy to do that with. The next thing that I got is actually $2 and weighs quite a bit. It's this Be Thankful pumpkin that has some jewels and a little wired leaf up here. I find that when you get things from the dollar store, typically they don't have a lot of weight to it. They feel like pretty light and cheap, but this is, this is heavy. The next thing I want to show you guys was $1.50 at the dollar store. I only have one of these, but I kind of want to get more. It's this picture frame that says thankful, grateful, blessed, and it's got these really pretty sequins down in the bottom. They've got like a copper color and I think a darker copper color. And it's got a really pretty autumn print in the background. I keep this on my windowsill as well. I think this is really cute. They have a bunch of these, honestly. They have a bunch of different ones. But for $1.50, it's a whole picture frame. And it's got like cute little sequins on the inside. Like, how could you go wrong with that? The next decorative piece that I got is actually to hold a candle. Except I didn't find or even really look for a candle that is this wick. So I got two of those fake candles from the dollar store as well. So I have this dollar store candle holder. It's got some pumpkins. It's got the flowers, the leaves. It looks pretty. The stuff inside looks very similar to what I showed you in those autumn ba woven baskets, but just on a stand, which is really cute. And then instead of finding a candle that fits the circumference of this candlestick, I bought a package of these two really sparkly candles. And if you turn the lights on, I don't know if you can see that from here. They, they're like little fake candles. I don't really remember. I feel like these, these two came in a pack. I feel like they were probably $2. And then this stand was likely $3.50 or $4. The next three items that I have here that I'm gonna show you, I kind of laid them all together. I'm gonna show you individually, but then I'm gonna show you how to put them together. So first it's this big pumpkin with this really pretty sunflower. This one feels cheaper and looks cheaper, obviously, but I like that it is kind of chromatic on it. So you've got the dark orange with like a chromatic rub on it, which I think is really pretty. I do think this one was $4 as well because it is a bigger size. And then I got a bag of these sparkly pumpkins. Some of them are in different shapes. This one kind of looks more like a squash. 
and then we have a regular pumpkin. The sparkles on these do fall off a little more, which makes it a little messy, but it is really pretty and flashy to have when you've got this package. I got two baby pumpkins, four of these bigger pumpkins, and this squash all in one bag that I believe was $4. And originally, I got this pumpkin-shaped tray for $3. How cute is this? I feel like this is one of my favorite things it's a little lifted and it's a big pumpkin. I think that's so cute. I originally wanted to put my coffee stuff on top of this. I wanted to get them out of the gold basket, put them on something a little more festive, but not everything fits on there because I have a lot of stuff in my coffee bar and it's uneven. So instead, I turn this into my centerpiece on my island by putting these sparkly pumpkins all around this big pumpkin. So I just kind of lay them. I just kind of lay it like this, like a pumpkin platter tray of pumpkins on the middle of my island. That is kind of what I did with this. That's the reason why I bought these little guys and this big guy was because my coffee stuff didn't fit on this tray. So I got this specifically for that. I feel like I won't keep this for next year just because it does look a little too cluttered, but I do still think it's a really cute idea, serving pumpkins on a pumpkin tray. Isn't that adorable? And it's cheap and affordable. And that brings me to the end of my fall decor on a budget video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really love decorating and how expressive you can be with this stuff. And when you can find things at an affordable price where you can actually buy a few things and can decorate the majority of your home or even just a room with it, I'm all for it and I absolutely love these pieces and I can't wait to decorate my place more. But I thought this would be really cool to show you guys that you can decorate your place on a budget and that you can make it look cute and that you can find really good pieces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.